what experience do you bring to the race? Well, I'm the only candidate that uh, has health care experience. Uh, I've been a patient and I've also worked in the healthcare industry under several different jobs. Um, and I'm the only person that has a academic background in that education. So, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm very qualified for this job um, because we make decisions about education and we make decisions about health care. We make decisions about traffic safety and that's something else I do. I'm a, um, a um, speaker for traffic safety as well. What would you say then are some of the biggest issues that are facing the district? And you mentioned health care. Well, there's been a lot of areas that have been neglected. Education has been neglected. We're 47th in the country in, in uh, supporting higher education, which means we have a very high tuition. We have the highest tuition in the Big 12. We need to do something about that. Um, Health care, we have severe problems, and it's affecting everyone. It's, it's not just affecting the people um, that were on Medicaid. It's also affecting every one of us because each household is paying $2,000 additional money because of the Medicaid cuts, because people are, are choosing to go, well, not choosing, they have to go to the emergency room to get health care rather than getting preventive care, which would be much cheaper. Do you have a plan then for health care, what you would do? Well, first we have to reinstate the Medicaid cuts, and it makes a lot of sense. It makes moral sense. And it also makes economic sense uh, because uh, we have turned away more than $1.6 billion from the federal government that would help our economy right here. For every dollar that we bring back to the state, it creates $3 of economic growth. So um, that would be the first step. And it would be in large part paid for by, um, by the federal government. And it's also being paid for by economic growth. But we need to change priorities as well. Um, we gave tax cuts to people that make over $50,000 a year, yet we've cut the very poorest people. Do you have a to-do list, so to speak, of just some top priorities if you do get elected? Yes, uh, early education is very important to me. Um, I think we need to have access to um, preschool it's very good for kids. It's a wise investment, and it, it helps uh, couples uh, support themselves because nowadays it takes two incomes. All right. Anything in addition to that? Uh, that to we need about? to uh, protect the environment. Uh, global warming is the um, greatest challenge of our generation, and I think that we could reach it. And I think it's a false assumption to say that global that if we do something about uh, global warming that's going to hurt our economy. If we keep money here in Missouri by um, allowing Missourians to produce their own energy, uh, we have the potential to produce 241 percent of our energy through alternative energy in the state of Missouri. And if we do that, it will create good green collar jobs right here in Missouri. Okay. How would you say that you differ from the other candidates in the race? Well, I have a certain perspective that is missing in Jefferson City that's very needed. Uh, one way that I, that's, that I think uh, qualifies me is I've worked in the healthcare industry. But more than that, I have a certain perspective of someone that has been injured and someone that uh, has lived on a very limited income. So I, I think I would be a strong advocate for people who currently do not have that voice now, while at the same time, uh, hopefully supporting all Missourians through good policy that will be beneficial to everyone. And how would you say that your campaign has been reflective of the job you would do in, in Jeff City? Well, um, on the campaign, I have been trying to uh, listen to all the voters, no matter from what background they, they have been from. And I have advocated hard for what well, the people at Paquin, for example, they were going to lose their Parks and Rec program. But uh, we organized uh, to uh, help save the program, and I think it's well on its way to being saved if we work together. So are you saying you would work to build a, a consensus if elected? or 
I guess I'm wondering how, how you would carry the way that you've been running your campaign, like um, working with people on the, on, on the individual level, if, if that, is that what you mean, that you would continue in Jackson? Well, I want to advocate for people right now that do not have that voice. And I think that we can build consensus by just educating people. Because if they know how things really work, and I'm in a unique position to demonstrate how things work because I actually use a lot of the services out of necessity. Uh, I, I use healthcare services because of my disability that uh, a lot of people have no clue about. And this would be a unique thing in Jefferson City that would not happen if I would not be elected. Okay. And earlier you mentioned just the unique voice that you would bring to Jeff City, a voice that's not really there. How would you work with those other voices, though, to, to build consensus? Well, I have friends from both sides of the aisle, and we need to be nonpartisan uh, because there's some bills that a Republican could have that could be of value. And uh, I'm a very progressive candidate, but at the same time, we need to build those bridges, and that would be a top priority for me. I have a unique background that I think people should know about. And it's a perspective of someone that, uh, that I used to not even use the healthcare system before, that my only experience with the healthcare system uh, before my accident was getting basketball physicals. And now, um, since my injury, I have been exposed to so many things and it's really opened my eyes up. So I wanna be the strongest patient advocate there is um, I think that we are missing that right now in Jefferson City, and uh, we need that, and this is why I'm running. I want to be the voice of people who currently do not have that voice. Is this the first time you've ever run for an office? It sure is, and I, I never uh, expected to ever run for office, but I thought it was too important to pass up because we, we have a historic opportunity to fix the health care system, and I want to play... Uh, my part in doing so and offer my unique perspective and my unique knowledge of uh, the healthcare system. I was reading a little bit about you earlier and that's why you initially got in the race, right? Because, because of the Medicaid cuts? Yes, uh, we are losing Judy Baker who is a um, healthcare consultant and a healthcare expert. And we, I think that we need someone to replace her that uh, is also an expert and I think I could fill that bill.